I was reading Luke chapter 22 the other day when something special caught my eye in the 15th verse where Jesus says to all 12 of his disciples, I fervently desire to have communion with you. Communion in those days was significant in terms of the fact that it was about relationship. It wasn't about supper as we know it. Supper today is filled with cell phones, technology, Wi-Fi. When we had supper in the Jewish uh, tradition, it was about fellowship, it was about communion, it was about sharing with each other, it was about giving and receiving love. Now Jesus knew that Judas was going to betray him. He knew that Judas was going to give him up to the Roman soldiers. But irrespective of the fact that Jesus knew about the agenda that Judas had in his heart, Jesus still said to him, I desire fervently to have relationship with you. Now, in the world today that we know it, we don't find this type of unconditional love, this, this love that says, I don't want to change you, I just want to love you. I think in our world today, we are so used to wanting to change things before we love things unconditionally. We want to change our spouses, we want to change our workplace, we want to change our relationships with friends and with family to suit us. And when it suits us, we can love unconditionally. When we see how Jesus treated Judas here, we see that Jesus didn't come to change Judas. Jesus came to love Judas. And this is so significant to me because many of us think that Jesus just came to want to change us. No, Jesus is not interested in changing you. He's interested in loving you. The change that does take place is as a result of us understanding that Jesus loves us unconditionally. Secondly, we must understand that Judas made a severe mistake. We see later on that Judas ran back to the, to the wise men and he wanted to give uh, to the Pharisees and he wanted to give them back their money because he regretted his decision to want to betray Jesus. Many of us make mistakes, we make bad decisions and we feel that our bad decisions disqualify us from the love of Jesus. This piece teaches to us that even though we are setting ourselves up for bad decisions, we are setting ourselves up for bad mistakes, irrespective of the fact that God knows about this, He still chooses to want to love us unconditionally. Love us, love us, love us. And I want to inspire you today, if you have, if you have made some bad decisions, God's not going to reject you. If you've taken some wrong ways and some wrong paths in your life, God's not going to reject you. God's love is unconditional. And today through this piece, my only desire for you to understand this day, to understand the type of unconditional love that God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit has for you. And when you discover that love, it's going to change your life radically, spontaneously from the inside out. God bless you. Thank you.